Nobody really told me I would go after Rabbi Schiller, uh, so I don't want to, so thanks a lot. <laughs> but seriously, I came into this mentor's mission with, with no expectations. I had a very low bar set in my mind. Um, I looked at the pamphlet uh, with the schedule. Closer. Uh, I looked at the pamphlet with the schedule, and I saw zip lining and white water rafting, and I thought, it can't be so bad, huh? Uh, and believe me, after learning that no boat is safe, white water rafting was not so bad. The moment that I realized that this mentor's mission was going to be much more special than just the, uh, the physical enjoyments of, of the events that first caught my eye, is, uh, is when I realized what each mentor gave to be here. Everyone in this room is a mentor, has a family, has a job, has people that love them, has a home. And they, they all left that just to be here with us mentees. And that can't be understated. Jamie over here said to me that this weekend is the first time that he's ever spent a Shabbat away from his kids. They do this for us. Pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing, and, and we can't offer you guys enough thanks. I'd like to specifically thank my mentor, Surly Schubert. He's not here right now, he had to fly home to be with his family. Um, he's the first Tavrusa that I've ever had in my life. Uh, I've never studied uh, Gomorrah, Talmud, nothing like that. Um, and, and intrinsically, I had a lot of questions. Um, so I said that to him from the start, and he said to me, he said to me, I tell my kids this, you can never ask me enough questions. And from that point on, he treated me like his son. So truly, I, I thank you so much for the kindness, of, if you ever see this video, for the kindness that you extended to me throughout this whole weekend. Uh, I'd like to give another specific shout out to Rabbi Geldworth. Um, you, you taught us all so much uh, from the first time that you talked to us in Rachel's tomb. Uh, every time you opened your mouth, you could hear a pin drop because everyone was on every word that you said and every drop of Torah knowledge that you put into the rocks of our heads uh, was absorbed, I promise you that. Uh, to, the, to my fellow mentees, uh, I know that you all had experiences like I had this, this weekend. I see it on each of your faces, I see it on my face when I look in the mirror. It's, it's been very special. Uh, a rabbi of mine, Rabbi Klatsko, once taught me this uh, a, a lesson. He calls it first light versus second light. First light is love at first sight. It's emotional. It's easy to do. Um, there's no challenges associated with it. It's like when you have a crush on the girl in high school for the first time. Uh, sorry to the show raised in here that you don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm sure that a lot of the NTs know what I'm talking about. It's easy, but, but second light, second light's married, second light's challenge, second light is giving, second light is accepting. Um, so this, this weekend for all of us, it's like, a, it's like a first light, you know, we all opened our eyes to this, we all, we all tried our best, we were all challenged, we were all inquisitive. Um, I'd like to offer everybody in the room a blessing. Uh, that, that we turn this first light into a second light uh, and, and take Judaism on its merits, take Judaism on its merits and, uh, and really give it an opportunity. And so that Rabbi Schiller, where, where are you? Rabbi Schiller, so that we can all make that call on third base for ourselves with, with your help and uh, the strength within us. So I'd like to give every mentee in this room a bracha that we can do that. And uh, thanks so much. <laughs>